What's up guys, it's James from Seacoast. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the best four or my top four AI programs that you can use for free to really help with your content creation, business strategies, and any other online activities. All of the apps or programs that we're gonna be going through in this video are gonna have at least a free version or a version that you can use. So you can actually go ahead and try all of these yourself. So with that, let's get into the video. Let's get started with the vidIQ generator app. You can actually find this not only just in that, but you can find this online as well. You don't even need to sign in to get started and it's a brilliant way to actually help out if you're making content for YouTube. All you need to do is go in, you don't need to sign in, you simply put your video idea and it will generate your title a long description, keywords that you should be adding, looking for adding to tags. It will even create you a thumbnail. It will then go ahead and create a script that you should follow. And not only that, it will even add a voiceover for you. This is an excellent feature for anybody that is a content creator and really wants their video to start coming up higher on YouTube search results. The reason I trust this is because vidIQ are part of many, many YouTubers channel. You see, when you add vidIQ and you start to use it, it also gets data from your channel meaning that it's got to be one of the most trusted ones to actually find out data keywords because it's not simply guessing, it's got the data from other people's accounts, meaning that it's a legit source to trust for terms of keywords, titles, mix that with AI and you've got yourself a winner. Next up, another video AI, which is also called video.ai, spelled slightly differently, but this is great for turning your long form content into lots of short form content. You might be thinking, well, I can do this myself with my editor. However, this saves you many hours, if not days, because it finds the specific areas that it thinks is interesting using the AI model. It cuts them into separate clips, puts different templates. It will add captions to it. Best thing is that you also get this free. You get 70 minutes free every single month as a free user. And then if you go and use the premium version, you then go up to 300 minutes and then more and more. One thing is with this app is that you don't get quite HD for the free version. We pay for the version because I find it a feature that you really should be using with all your videos. So we get HD. If you don't, you will get 720p, unfortunately, but you do get a free way of being able to do this. Videos will also be stored in downloads. You can upload videos straight from a YouTube link, or you can use another file system such as your PC or a cloud system such as Google Drive. The captions are very good, and you have got an editor to go over and edit any of the captions just in case they are incorrect. There are many features on this app, well worth a pro version, or if not, at least try the free version. And you'll be surprised to how many more viewers you're getting by cutting up longer form content into shorter, more relevant and shareable short form content. Now, of course, ChatGPT is one that everybody knows of. Let's just go through some of the features and why this will always pretty much make it up on the top of the list is because this has got one of the best generations, which is GPT-4, which is the newest at the moment. Of course, for the free version, which you are completely going to be able to get, it's got GPT-3, which is still a really good, solid AI foundation. GPT-4 just simply can make more complex conversational skills. So maybe if you're a writer, you might perhaps go for the premium version. However, the free version works really well and can be used for a multitude of things, whether you're asking it simple questions, WordPress questions, whether you're asking it for titles, YouTube captions, tags, it covers it all. And because it remembers the conversation in the memory, you can almost use it as a personal assistant. So for instance, you might start one chat that might be completely to do with generating titles for a certain website or section or content and you can keep asking it and remember the previous conversation meaning that it will keep learning and you can almost use it like an assistant for yourself great resource highly suggest it especially if you're working online last but not least we have adobe express this is something that if you do have any other paid product you're going to find in your apps list if you don't you can also find it for free online and download it it's currently in beta and that's the reason why it's free for you as well i have a feeling that it's going to stay free and that's because it's pretty much like Canva. So it gives you the free features. However, it also has pro features that you can pay for if you want them extra features. However, this goes one step further than Canva because it gives you a few AI features that are really going to help with your thumbnail creation or any other image creation or editing. First of all, it's got easy editing, much like Canva. It's built in the same way. Um, so you're able to use it quite easily and move over quite easily from that to this. But then you also got stuff like text generation. So it will give you ideas and suggestions about how your text should look but you can also ask AI to give you a different texture for it. For instance, here we've asked it for a different texture, so it's created us a different amount of textures that we can pick from. However, the best thing yet is the actual um, text to AI, which is still free for this beta version, which is really cool. I hope this actually stays. And of course, the free background remover, which isn't quite AI, but it's a great free feature that you get with this as well. Back to the image generator, and you're going to be able to simply put in a text prompt for it to um, create you an AI image or multiple AI images. You can then load more find the one that you want, or just simply ask it another question or put a different context to what the prompt is. This is absolutely fantastic for thumbnails. It means that you don't need to go looking for copyright free images, create your own images, because this basically creates the image. 
One extra thing that I forgot to mention is that with ChatGPT, you can also access the API section, meaning that by using the plugin on your WordPress site, you can also create your own AI bot, connect it with the API through ChatGPT or OpenAI, and then you get charged um, a nominal fee depending on how many tokens you use, meaning that you can create your own chatbot on your WordPress site. And if you want to do that, we've got a video popping up right now, which is going to explain you and walk you through the whole process of creating an AI bot on your WordPress site quickly and easily. So with that, we'll catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.